summer theme make a challenge? Sure, why not? But let's go inside. <sighs> That's much better. Summer here in the far north means that it's too damn hot to get anything done in the daytime. I mean, it can be up to 30 degrees Celsius. Too much for me. But the nights and evenings are long and bright. I mean, in the middle of summer, there basically is no darkness. So that's when we stay up with friends and family and play board games. So let's make a game. Today we had minus 17 degrees Celsius this morning. I don't know what temperature it is right now. But days like this, I wish my setup wasn't doing all the cutting outside.
So there's this thing we've created. Well, I have created, you haven't done anything. It's an old game, but I got inspiration from one of those mobile games you scroll by on Instagram. The premise is that you put these discs uh, at random on the pegs. And then you try in as few moves as possible, or the time limit, to put all the colors together. And you're only allowed to use one hand, and you can only pick up one color at a time. And if you want to make it harder for yourself, you're only allowed to put one color on the same color. But let's play with the simplified rules. So I'm not screwed. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Well, when you master playing with yourself, you might want to try to do it competitively. But it's kind of boring just to sit around and wait while the other person plays and reset in the game and making sure it's, it's equally challenging. So then I suggest you use the second board. Now it's real easy to go toe to toe with someone and really get those stress hormones pumping. But let's be real. This is the pandemic and you don't have any friends. So if you want a more challenging experience, I suggest combining the two boards and together with extra tokens. We have the grown-up version. Because honestly, the kids don't get the gaming aspect.